Aho and welcome, I'm Rena Wells, your Divine Goddess Oracle, and I'm here to do a Twin Flame update for the Divine Masculine to see what is going on in their energy field, what is being kept from you, what's going on in their heart, where they are in their growth, and um, we're going to do this a little differently. Um, I got some new cards as well, I'm just going to be pulled by Spirit to see what is going on with them, so... If you're new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. It helps circulate the videos. It helps people. I'm on a healing journey. Please give back some good karma. I'm sure there is something here for you because you were attracted here for a reason. And if you are returning, know that I always hold a special place in my heart for you guys. Also, I want to put a disclaimer for my last video that I did in regards to my ayahuasca experience. I said that... Um, it's funny how spirit works. <laughs> I said that, you know, he has his healing to do and I'm basically done my healing and, and then something came up that I had to integrate even further and what I was shown during my experience. So there was more healing that happened to me. So I didn't get to put out another video <laughs> until now because I went through a healing process and I was like, oh yeah, that was, you know, I still have healing to do in regards to my connection with my twin and in coming into merging, not individual healing, merging into acceptance and surrender of this connection. So I'm going to do another video on that as well. So let's get started. Let's see what portal is opening up for Divine Masculine Spirit. Please bring down the container for Divine Masculine's Twin Flame Soulmates, whoever you are connected to. This is sacred connection though. This is mission work. This isn't just basic love romance, guys. If um, my channel is really about mission work and lightening the planet, bringing peace, harmony, and love, okay? If you are called to that, I know that you have a connection to work with you on that. You're in the right place. All right. Let's take a look here. What is opening for Divine Masculines right now? Please bring down the container. Let's uh, smudge a little bit. I also got some copal as well, which I love copal, but we're going to use... Um, oh, look at this. I... I, I, I Pull the deck open and take action is here. So that's a sign for Divine Masculines right now. Take action. They are about to take action, guys. So, yeah. Now, take these messages as they resonate. When I talk about masculine and feminine energy, it's not about a gender, okay? I just use he and she because it's my conditioning. Sorry, guys, there is earth conditioning that still happens. All right, Spirit, please bring down the container and blueprint for all twin flame masculine collective, please. Messages that need to come forward. What portal is currently opening up for divine masculines and their spiritual growth that they are about to walk through, okay? What portal is opening up? for Divine Masculines, for them to walk through that they acknowledge, consciously aware of, and that they are going to be taking action towards in the near future. We've got breaking barriers, you guys. All right, so they are willing and ready to start breaking barriers in their life. So it's like we're taking all of these. That's the overall energy here, breaking barriers, okay? They want to be in flow, okay? They're ready to rise above. Woo! beautiful okay they're they're ready to be in flow they're ready to flow they're ready to be with their divine feminine they're ready for mission work okay they know that they need to rise above so what i'm getting with this card is they're really looking at um, closing off cycles right now okay they're also saying that they can't close off cycles until the feminine um holds the space okay we're gonna see um this is divine masculine i'm gonna do another one for divine feminine um so this one is really about they're rising right now. They're awakening ancient wisdom right now. They're hearing messages from spirit, okay? And they're stepping into stillness. They need this stillness right now, okay? That's what's being grounded into the plane. Their situation is they're being in flow. What they're feeling is that they're rising above. Their action is awakening this wisdom, and their outcome is hearing the, the messages from spirit, and they're stepping into silence. So what I'm getting right now is they're really closing off cycles. Um, they are really breaking barriers, and this is societal bar barriers, okay? This is around, I'm seeing a lot of money, how they work, how they live, how people are, you know, they're showing me, you know, how we are so conditioned that you have to go to university and get a degree and do the whole work and make the money and work really hard. 
I feel like a lot of my masculines are realizing you don't have to work that hard for your money. Okay, a lot of these masculines are really realizing I can manifest money in a lot easier way and I need to get aligned to spirit in order to manifest this kind of calling. So whatever mission work you divine feminines have been looking at doing your mission work, this is really important, okay? Because if you haven't been doing mission work or you're not even sure what that is, I'm not sure if this is the reading for you, okay? Take it as it resonates though, please, because if you do have an idea of what your mission is and, and you have some understanding, this could still be the reading for you. But what I'm getting is these divine feminines with these set of masculines have really awakened to starting their mission, having ideas about their mission, or even actually working in their mission. These This isn't for people who are just working a nine to five job and, 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 that's it. And have no desire to do any kind of mission work or service to spirit. This is really to be a service, okay? Because these this is who these divine masculines are aligned to. And spirit is saying... Um, this mission work, because this is where the message is going, okay, and I had to just put that out there. The mission work here that the Divine Feminines have brought into their vibration, so if they've had visions of it, knowing that they're healers and they're just looking at how to incorporate that, or they're actually working in their mission, or they've actually started the mission, um, this has brought in the energy into the one body between for the masculine to ground that. So they're realizing now in their employment, in the way that the world is, they need to break these barriers now. They need to look at how to make money differently. They need to step into the call. That's what they're getting pulled to do. Not about union with divine fountain. This is about mission. This is another thing, you guys. If you're dealing with sacred relationships, twin flame. Not your twin flame if you ain't got no mission. I'm sorry about it. Mission is first. Serving the universe comes first before anything romantic. So I'm going to put that disclaimer out as well, okay? If you're looking for romance with your twin, this ain't the channel for you either. This is about being of service. I am deeply indebted to Mama Ayahuasca and to be of service. If you're not of service... And you're looking for romance. This isn't this isn't about it. And I know some people would say, well, Rena, maybe our service is just to bring the love in. No. No, I think that's a falsehood that's put in the Twin Flame community um, to feed people's egos about romance. I truly believe that Twin Flames are here to raise the consciousness of the planet, not just by being in love, by putting your talents and gifts to work. That's what Twin Flames do. You take your gifts, you take your talents, you work together, you bring, you complement each other, you bring in through the service, and it's through your service to God and to the universe is where you find the love for each other. It is, that is where you find spirit. That is where you find divine union. That is where you find connection. So these sets of masculines are really about being in the flow, ready to rise above, awakening this, this, um, ancient history uh wisdom from the depths okay um, i'm getting pulled that need to pull some roomy cards too so they're looking at how to make money how to step into their calling not necessarily about being with their feminine okay this is how can i how can i do this how can i change my life around how does that look where does my feminine fit in in service to the universe because this is a very deep calling okay they want to break societal norms okay they want to break barriers they want to expand into who they were meant to be they want to use their talents okay they and and there's there's Sarah is saying to me that they've been healing their physical body because they know that they need to be physically fit to transmute energy to come into a higher vibration to a higher calling let's see what um Rumi card is coming out for them because i feel like there's a pattern that or there's sorry a message that's coming out for them in regards to this and it's just going to be an overall one message um we're also going to clarify the ancient wisdom so I know the breaking barriers is breaking all the karmic cycles as well, not just with karmic partners, but in their work as well, what they're doing for a living, how they're making money. That's really important. They're breaking barriers in other relationships and family. I'm also getting messages in family dynamics. If there's parents that are involved, in-laws that are involved, cousins, brother, sister, um, friends, family, all, any, any type of relationship that's not serving them, they're actually thinking twice about how they're giving their energy into those relationships. This is about them being in flow being in aligned to the universe they're they're starting these masculines too haven't been doing their work with the universe okay they just haven't so spirit is saying that they really want to be in flow now and rise above so they've been starting to consider you know hey i need to look at spiritual growth i need to look at meditating i haven't been doing that i need to find what works for me um 
I need to um, get out of this way of society and how society copes. Society copes by, you know, oh, I need to smoke a joint. I need to, like, I need to, like, drink tonight. I need to have sex. I need to, like, numb my feelings somehow. And these masculines are realizing I don't want to do that. Those things don't serve me anymore. They're really, and en they've ended those patterns, this set of masculines, okay? They're ready to be in flow and align to the universe, to rise above all those coping mechanisms, okay? They're really looking at that. Um, they're awakening to the ancient wisdom of their soul they're realizing their gifts as they're breaking these barriers as they're they're ending certain relationships as they're coming into their own and they're rising now they're accessing this ancient wisdom they're accessing their gifts they're accessing um who they really are and their healing capabilities spirit is bringing in their talents and they're seeing alignment now now they're looking in their past and being like that's why i'm good at computers that's why i'm good at business that's why i'm good at art that's why i'm good at this and this and this that never made sense but now i'm seeing the connections and now i'm seeing how that can work for mission that's why they're hearing the spirits from 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 universe now that's why they're hearing the messages that's why they've had to go within that's why they've had to pull away that's why they have to step into stillness here okay because they're really accessing some ancient wisdom they're really accepting who they are now okay that's really what i'm getting they're starting to accept this call okay spirit what message from Rumi here that you would like to okay they've dropped two Oh, they've dropped three. I only wanted one, <laughs> but we'll take the three. We've got the impossible made possible. Look at that. Okay. The pos the impossible made possible. Beautiful. Okay. We've got merciful mother Jamal. Okay. And blessing of Al Hakim. Okay. I'm going to have to read those because I'm not entirely sure. So let's, let's do that. The impossible made possible. Let's bring that down here. Let's bring that one down. Bring it down a little bit. Let's read each one. I don't usually read them, but spirit is saying, let's read them from the book. I don't know this one either. So. All right, let's read number nine, 40 and four, four is the last one. Okay, so let's read the impossible made possible. I don't know which part I should read. Just, just give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm going to read that part. It's fair to say. Okay. We only limit what we believe to be possible by our lack of imagination. The divine has recourse to all that is and all that is yet to be. Is there any limit to the resources of the heavens? No. So then why has not every impossible dream now been rendered possible, indeed manifest in shining glory upon the earth? The human heart knows everything in vision can manifest according to divine timing and grace, yet the mind is, does quake with fear so much that it will not listen to the heart at times. That fear is a childlike nightmare that should you offer yourself up to the sacred loving power of the great creator, you might be found to be lack lacking. The mind holds itself captive with dark fantasies of that profound rejection and then avoids confronting it directly at all costs. It creates barriers. Instead, truly nothing more than lines in the sand yet believed to be forts. I'm just going to stop that for a minute because that really comes in and brings in here about breaking barriers, right? The mind is really saying that you can't do certain things. And so this is, these divine masculines are like, screw that. That's the barrier. That's the mindset. That's what we are told that we can't have these things. Okay. Um, this, this is saying that I, this is the fearful stuff that I need to break out of. Okay. But what strongholds can resist love? It is like water. It seeps into every available space and changes form to survive in every environmental condition. With unfailing intelligence, it creates life. From stream to ice, rainfall, the river and ocean, rain descending into snow, snowflakes, snow capping the peak, expressing itself with beauty and genius. It nestles under the earth and rises to the sky, only to return to the earth 
again. It will erode blockages and prevail no matter how long the process takes. It carves the earth into shape and form. Where it is, there is life. Such is the adaptable intelligence and persistence of water, just as the power of love. So now you are guided by this loving power to drop the doubt. Shed the in. The, sorry, the insecure duality and open the mind. Allow your imagination to be inspired as though you are a child in a great garden, hearing the breath of the earth in the wind-whipped weaves and the voices of the ancestors and bird song. The universe wants something to happen for you, something beautiful, something utterly improbable, something perfect for your path, your unique divine destiny. Your mind will wonder if it's even possible, and people around you may wonder the same thing, but your heart will burn for it to be become real, to become more than a fantastic, improbable dream. You'll want it with all of your soul. You may not even be consciously aware as yet to what this desire is, but your heart knows. It holds the secret knowledge and it will unveil it when your mind can handle it. When your heart is much more powerful than your mind, you won't unintentionally block the incredible grace of manifestation seeking to pour into your thirsty soul like the sweetest, purest waters of blessing oh my god you guys Whoo! that that is fucking beautiful okay and so about the earth and just i mean i hope you soak that in that was that is the, exactly where the, these divine masculines are at they're at a place where they're like i am thirsty Give me my cup of water. I want to drink from your waters, spirit. I want to, you know, I, they need to sit in the silence I'm getting. They need to sit in that to be able to accept this, that they are masters and creators and that they can make the impossible possible. Let's read number 40, okay? Oh, my God, beautiful. What these masculines are coming into, they're they are not willing. They, they know that their soul is calling so hard. They can't deny it now, you guys. They cannot deny it. These set of masculines cannot deny it. Not at all. So let's take a look here at number 40, which is Blessing of Al-Hakim. Oh, let me just see here. Okay, I don't think I'm going to read this. It's like three pages long. So I'm going to take, um, yeah, I'm going to take the, the first part. Thank you, Spirit. Sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. Cleverness is opinion. Bewilderment is vision. So I love how this is just how this is starting already because this is about imagination. This is about believing in the unknown. This is about moving into sacred union with God. Okay. This is the impossible made possible. This is getting out of what the mind fears. This is get letting go of fear. That's what this breaking barrier is. That's what this rising above is. This is what being in flow is about. This is why they're trusting their intuitions now. Okay, they're hearing the call. They're trusting spirit. They're realizing that this ancient wisdom is calling them. Their higher selves are calling them. And so that's why um, they're, they're birthing their new power. It says, my power is born in the majesty of silence. This is labor. This is what spirit is bringing up. Like when you're laboring, when you're going through growing pains, when you're breathing to birth your baby, okay, this is where they're at, ready to come out and birth themselves. So these, these, um, they're believing in the bewilderment of the universe, the beautiful impossibleness of the universe that people say is impossible, the mysticism, the magic. That's what these masculines are dealing with. This is the gift of wisdom. The blessing of Al-Hakim gurgles up from your heart. Her blessing is evoked by life, like the laughter of a baby, joyfully responding to the playful tickle of the mother's hand. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Wisdom can make divine sense of anything, especially of what, where logic is blind. Now I rever the blessing of Halakim, of wisdom, for she is precious and welcome to me now, and always my dear friend who brings me such peace. So they're finding this peace and this magic. They're realizing that they can't follow the mind anymore, you guys. This is this breaking barriers, okay? They're really coming out of a mind space and really listening to their intuition, Okay, let's read the last one. Oh, merciful mother. I need to read... Um I need to read the whole thing, so this one's going to take a little bit. Merciful mother, Jamal. 
O oh, set in resurrection, O oh, countless blessings, O oh, blazing fire in the jungle of thoughts, today you arrive with laughter to break open the jail. Oh, my God. This is just gorgeous. All right. This oracle brings you a message. There is a shift taking place now in a matter of great importance to you from Jalal to Jamal, from justice to mercy. This is your path. This is your destiny and your blessing now opening up before you. It may be a particular matter. However, it likely includes your entire life orientation. Do you hear that, guys? This is upheaval everything in their life. Society, from the first time that I was channeling the message, society, barriers, relationships, family, karmic situations, work, money. This is not just one thing. This is not just someone leaving a karmic part. This is like growth, everything upheaval. Okay, everything, life orientation. This is huge for these masculines, okay? You are being granted refuge, respite, and shelter from the storms of struggle and doubt, and being given a divine sanctuary of safe harbor. So when I read that, that's the divine feminine. They are attracted to their divine feminines because you're holding the mission down, you guys. You've already started. You've brought that vibration in, okay? You acknowledge what the service is, and that feeds their soul. Mission work feeds these divine masculines. It allows them to fall into grace, into your arms, because you are being of service as well. And that's what God is calling them up to do. That's what spirit is calling these divine masculines to be of service, to be who they are, their gifts. Okay. Not about romance. Again, guys, not about romance. They will find the sanctuary in the arms of the divine feminine because they are both being called to serve together. That's the safe harbor, okay? You shall find that the unraveling of the struggle and pain now happens through tenderness, a gentler approach. You're being asked to take stock of your own thoughts and attitudes. Having to be tough and play hardball is the past and has served its purpose, but yet this oracle comes to you with guidance to become softer in your ways and in your attitude. Can you gently but firmly place to one side your, sorry, to one side, the judge within, the one who keeps score and demands retribution, an eye for an eye, and the exponent of absolute justice? Or can you invite instead the one who gentles the aggressive Lord within and allows him to bow before the great lady who loves, who is wise, who steadies the workings of the world with the softest of touches? Oh my, that is divine union right there, you guys. Did you hear that? Okay. Inviting to tame the aggressive Lord within, okay, the ego, and surrendering to the divine feminine, the great lady who loves. Do you see what I just said? What I just channeled? This is service that they can come and find respite, that they can now come and fall into that beautiful energy that the divine feminine has been holding and creating. Don't fear that if you are suddenly give yourself if you suddenly give yourself a break, all your discipline, hardness, toughness, and suffering will go to waste. No, all the things provide learning and serve divine purpose, but now there is no reason to continue in that way. It's time to learn in another way. You are strong enough now to become gentle. They're, oh my God, this is beautiful. And this is exactly what happens, okay? When you rise, you become of service, you become humble and vulnerable and open and raw. That's healing. Okay. And you know why the masculines have been able to do that? It's because feminines have been able to do that first. So if you're not quite there, keep holding the space feminines. We're going to have to do a reading for feminines to see where they are. Okay. You are being given the message that your prayers are powerful. And although action in the world is part of your soul purpose and plan, when you pray and have conviction that your prayers are real and heard and are responded to by the great universal heart. So pray carefully and thoughtfully. Be present and speak as if you are speaking to your dearest, oldest, most influential, powerful friend. Because, of course, that is exactly what you're doing. Pray from the heart and trust in the power of your prayers. This oracle brings you the message that the great power of compassion is reaching for you and it wants to help you, but is waiting for you to ask. So ask and you shall receive. Wow. It's pretty powerful stuff, you guys. So that's, <laughs> that's where the divine masculine's at. That's really where the divine masculine is at right now. Okay. 
Let's take a look and see where the Divine Masculine is at with the Feminine, okay? About what they're feeling and thinking about the Feminine. I'm going to um, just pull some tarot on that, okay? But I feel that that message had to really come forth to show exactly where these Divine Masculines are at right now. Okay, Spirit. Let's take a look here. How is Divine Masculine? Thank you for that. That was really beautiful. How are Divine Masculines right now feeling about their Divine Feminine? We're going to take a look at situation, action, and outcome. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to do mental, emotional, and physical manifestations. Thank you, Spirit. How is the Divine Masculine? These Divine Masculines, uh, please bring down the container. Anything that's not in alignment can now transform. Aho. Um how are they feeling about their divine feminines um, mentally, emotionally, physically? What are they doing? What are their actions? How are the, what's going on with the divine masculines in regards to the feminine energy? Thank you. Okay, so we're going to take the bond with the deck. So we've got manifestations, okay? The overall energy, we've got manifesting a tower moment, okay? So they know that they need to create a tower moment before illumination can come forth and before they can come forward, okay? This is quite the burden here in regards to um, bringing this into a relationship into the physical world, okay? So we've got the Magician, the Tower. This is also moving forward. We've got the Chariot at the bottom um, of this card. So it's moving forward that this Tower is falling apart so they can move forward to bring illumination, to bring happiness. It is a burden right now because for this relationship, okay? Because they're still manifesting this Tower moment. They're still bringing things, um, ending those cycles, right? And, and ending those barriers that we've just channeled, okay? Let's take a look at situation. They're quite sad at what they've lost, okay? And, and rightfully so, guys. This, these sets of masculines, what's happening here is this is a whole life reorientation work not you know it's not like oh they're going to keep their job and they're going to come and just you know be with you romance no this is that they're ready for service they're ready to join you on the mission whatever that looks like so these sets of not like they're sad of what they've lost because this is their foundation this is their family this is their home this is everything okay but they're doing this because the situation entails the empress look at this divine feminine they're sad of what they've lost, but they know that it's necessary in order to come right. They need to come right now. Like come, And when I say right, they need to come worthy to the temple. This is the temple. This is the sanctuary. This is where they're going to fall broken into your arms. Okay, this is the soft place. That's why divine feminines have had to hold this energy. Patience, love, open, acceptance. That's what divine feminine energy does. Okay? Um, it's not angry. It's not resentful. It's for, forever forgiving and infinitely patient and loving and kind. And that doesn't mean that you don't set healthy boundaries for yourself. That means you love yourself so reverently that you are so open to anything. And that doesn't mean that you're sitting there waiting for your masculine and not putting your life on hold. That means that you're open to all love. And if it came through another soulmate and it came through, you enjoy those life experiences. That's a divine feminine because you believe in divine timing and you know everything is happening for a reason. So you let go of any type of expectation, but you still have the desire of the expectation that you know that you're going to be together because this is of service. Again, I keep getting that, you guys. Um, I feel a lot of my readings and everything is changing now. Things are changing for sure since ayahuasca because this is really about bringing what true twin twins are about in regards to service. And I, I have to feel I have to keep saying that. It's about mission work, guys. Okay? I have to reiterate that. It's not about romance. Um, Let's talk about it here. We've got outcome. So mentally, they're sad. Okay, mentally, they're looking at what they've lost, but they know that the action that they need to take, the sadness is because they're coming towards their feminine, okay, presently. And the outcome is they're going to start communicating about this, okay? Um, they're going to communicate what has been going on for them. Emotionally, they want the stable beginning, okay? We've got the Ace of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Pentacles, and we've got the Six of Pentacles. So a lot of Earth energy coming through, okay, grounding this. So emotionally, they know that they need, they want to work as a team with the Divine Feminine. See? Service. Again, they know that they want to collaborate with the Divine Feminine. They know they're sad about what they've lost, but they know that it's creating a brand new solid 
earth-based um, stable beginning for them, okay? Their action is that they want to create a team. They want to network. They want to be of service with the divine feminine. Emotionally, they know that they want to communicate about this imbalance, that it's been imbalanced for a while now, that they're imbalanced. And they know that coming into this connection, being able to work with the divine feminine, to be in service with the divine feminine will definitely bring a balance to this connection, okay? We've got temperance, Okay, as the physical manifestation, we've got the seven of cups and we've got the five of wands. So we've got some defensive energy. Definitely that's happening here. Okay, um, they're still kind of like in battle mode. Okay, what's physically, how it's showing up manifesting, ma manifesting physically is they know that what they've left behind. Okay. This sadness is manifesting physically in how to balance this. So they're still balancing, okay? They're still trying to hold their ground. They know that they want to be action-oriented and action, this teamwork. They're feeling the teamwork mentally. They know it's with their feminine. But how it's manifesting is that they're, they're confused still. They don't know how this is going to manifest in the physical. They don't know how they're going to even work with their feminines. They don't even know what the mission is. Because remember, the feminines channel the blueprint down. The feminines are the higher chakras of the one body soul. So the feminines bring in the mission. That's why feminines had to start it to create this trailblaze, okay? You can't come into union with your twin until these feminines are bringing this down, okay? And when that happens, the options, they're looking, they're confused now. They're looking at their options. They're trying to, how is this going to physically happen? What? What's going on with the feminine? How am I going to work with the feminine? And so this balancing act, they're a little defensive about it because it's still that fear of how they're going to move around. There's such an upheaval in their life. They don't know how they're going to do this with their feminine. Okay. We're going to clarify here. So spirit, let's take a look here. What is going on with divine masculine? We're going to clarify. We are taking reversals. Spirit just told me. We will take reversals as they come out. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to read all energy today. Uh -oh. All right. Woo. Let's see, guys. All right. So, if this is sounding like a reading for you guys... Um, and you're really wanting some direction and whatnot, um, hit me up with an email, all right, for a reading or a coaching session, because uh, there's, there, there's a lot of shifting that's happening here, a lot of people that's very powerful, that's, um, yeah, it's going to shift a lot in the physical world, a lot. Okay, so let's take a look. Why is my masculine here having some sadness, Spirit? Why is my masculine having some sadness here? Thank you. Soulmate connection. This soulmate connection with you, with the divine feminine, because sorry if I say you, because it is mostly divine feminines that watch my channel, um, or divine masculines, okay, whoever the soulmate, whoever's watching this, this has instigated this sadness, okay? Of course. Why is the soulmate instigating this sadness, spirit? It's the energy. We already know that, right? Can you clarify this, please, spirit? Clarify the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups. No. There we go. Right on top. So it's slow moving energy and they're unable to manifest this as of yet because of this sadness. Okay. So they know that the, the soulmate connection with you, the connection um, has ignited the sadness, has made things, you know, they've lost certain things. They know this, but they're unable to create and manifest with the Empress. Yeah. Clarify the Empress here. Yeah. We're not going to take these ones. We'll take the one that flipped, which is offering love. They want to come forward and offer love to the feminine. Okay. They want to come and be of service. Um, and they want to communicate this. Clarify the page of spirits. I don't know why these cards are feeling so odd to me. Hold on, guys. Just, I don't know. It just, they don't shuffle right anymore. And I don't know. I've done everything possible. And I don't think anything's, I don't feel anything's attached. Things don't really attach to me. Dark things bow down to me now, so I ain't got that problem. But, I mean, it's just these cards, I, I don't think they're my deck anymore. I don't know why. It's just a feeling that I've got. Ah. All right. Clarify the... Thank you. 
So yeah, they're coming out of rest zone with it, and and th but they've lost hope. Okay, they've lost hope in working as a team. Why is that? They want to offer love, but they want to communicate. So they feel almost like they've missed a chance, an opportunity, because they're so slow moving is what I'm getting. And they were unable to manifest anything for the soulmate connection. And so they still want to come forward, but they may feel that they, you know, they're not having much hope that this is going to happen anytime soon. So they're at a crossroads about this, okay? They're not sure if you're going to want to work with them. They're fear of rejection right now. They're fear that maybe the destiny door has closed, but... Um, so they're having some fear around that. Let's clarify this three of pentacles has come up twice now. Let's clarify both of them, spirit. Yeah, see, they want a reconciliation to do this and to work with you. Clarify their defensive behavior. And that could be also why they're a little defensive. Clarify the five of wands. <laughs> yeah. So with their feminine energy, okay, um... They want this, but there's a little shady ass shit that's going on. Um, they still have some apathy here in their feelings, how they're feeling the feminine energy. So they have some unfinished business that they need to do, and they're not being quite honest about their unfinished business. What's their unfinished business? Oh, look, and see, that's why they're in pain. That's why they're in pain and anxiety, um, because they have unfinished business. They're being a little defensive of the feminine. They, they're feeling that. They're having some apathy there. Here, they're coming out of rest so that they can look at things, and they know they're at a crossroads, but they want a reconciliation, but they know that they've caused pain here. They know that they have unfinished business. Clarify the Seven of Swords. What's this unfinished business? Yeah, they can't have victory and success because they're unable to move towards you right now. They have unfinished business to do, and so that's why they're unable to move towards you. Okay, so they, they know that they want this beginning. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles with the Divine Feminine. Okay, so they are definitely ending conflict, and they feel a little foolish about this, okay, about this crossroads that they're at right now. They're feeling a little foolish, and do I take the leap of faith? So they're unable to move forward right now. Um, that's why they're holding balance. So they, they know that they want to close off cycles first, okay? They know that they need to do this, and they feel like the time is of the essence that you guys aren't going to accept them, okay? Like the feminine's not going to accept them. Let's take a look and see what um, numbers are at play, all right? Spirit, what numbers are at play right now for Divine Masculines? What numbers are happening right now? For divine? So this is how they're feeling about you guys, okay? They really want to come forward. But here, right, the overall energy, they have to manifest this tower moment before the illumination comes. And they know that it's a burden before they can give anything to this relationship. So that's why they're unable to move forward. They're still, I mean, remember, guys, these masculines are upheaval everything in their life. It's not just a karmic relationship. It's work. It's everything. They're looking at everything. Financial, they know that this is a huge shift. But they're coming out of resting and looking at this now. They know what they want. If anything, they know what they desire, but they know they can't quite come and offer anything as of yet because they still have unfinished business to do. All right. So, and again, it's for mission work. Okay, guys, what numbers are prominent right now that divine feminine for divine feminine and divine masculine What's happening for the divine masculine. Thank you. Sir. This is a message from the divine masculine to the feminine that if you see these numbers, this is a direct number from your masculine to the divine feminine thank you spirit so these are the number this is what's happening divine masculine if you drive around you start seeing these numbers know that it is a message directly to you thank you spirit 48 financial discipline what did i say guys financial discipline looking at their work it's about their work Okay, we've got 56 relationship changes. See, this is everything is happening, you guys. Everything, everything. What else, Spirit? So these numbers, you guys, if you see 48, 56 in your daily life, this is your masculine talking to you, okay? Yeah, and we're taking all of that. Thank you, Spirit. So what's happening here? We've got 66. They're healing. 77. That's my twin flames number. He loves sevens. Spirituality, okay? That's really intense. So they're looking at the financial discipline. They know they have to change their relationships. They are healing and they're dealing with their own spirituality. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Let's take a look here and see what journey soul is happening. Spirit, any other further messages here in regards to the masculine, to the journey soul spirit? Thank you. These divine masters that are coming down. What messages for the Divine Feminine that they would like to say where they currently are at? What emotions are they dealing with? What's their soul journey? Thank you, Aho. 
Thank you. We've got acceptance. Okay, so we have 48. We've got acceptance. We've got honesty. Woo! Good job. Being authentic. I'll read them in a minute. What's another one? Can we have two more, Spirit? <laughs> I'll take the one that fell. That's peace. Thank you. Yeah. They're coming into a... That's that stillness, eh, that was happening. And we've got freedom. Freedom. Yes. To be free in their life and everything. So they are accepting. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So whatever it is in their life, whatever their spirit is calling them to break those barriers, right? To break those things. It's like they're accepting it. They're like, okay, this relationship isn't working. This job isn't working. This, uh, you know, dealing with my family isn't working. None of this is working. I just need to accept this shit as it is. I need to have this financial discipline. I feel, I feel it's around money. Okay. Okay. Um, I need to have this discipline and I need to just accept it that I can't change any of this. And this is just where the vibration is. And I'm going to break the barriers and I'm going to move forward. Okay. In regards to the relationships and whatnot, they need honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So that's the shadiness here, guys, that they know that they're not being honest with their feminine and it's killing them. It's killing the seven of swords here with the empress that they're unable to move forward. It's killing them. It's creating a lot of anxiety. It's causing a lot of issues. Okay. And they're realizing here that they need to be feminine. I mean, feminine, they need to be honest. Okay. I can't always expect the truth from others. So they're realizing in their life, the vibration that they're living at, they're, they're breaking out of this, this 3d stuff. Okay. Um, that they, they are the ones that need to be really, so honest about everything. So they're going to have to start expressing everything and breaking things down. This is that tower, guys. This is the tower moment. This is the tower that's happened. This is the manifestation of the tower before this illumination can happen. And it's a freaking burden to this relationship, to this connection, because they got to be bluntly honest. And if that means that they got to tell a karmic partner about you, that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to be honest of where their feelings are at. It's right on top of relationship change. And I've been seeing that a lot, that these karmics are actually um, wanting to know what is going on emotionally with their divine, with these divine masculines because they've changed so much. They want to know what they, they already know. Someone's already involved. So there's some honesty that's going to be coming out about that he healing. They're healing for peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So they're going to hold that stillness. As they make all these changes, they're healing. The this is the fire, guys. This everything that they're in right now, all this upheaval that these masculines are going through right now is an upheaval. It's like the fire of purification. Look at the fire. Fire is hot and burning. Okay, it is masculine energy. This is the rites of passage. No twin flames can ever go nor meet. Okay, if you do not go through the dark, I'm sorry to say it, you cannot. I don't care who you are, okay? You, I mean, you look at Jesus and Mary Magdalene, okay? They went through shit. If you do not go through this stuff, there is no way. This is a rite of passage of healing for this masculine, okay? All this karmic stuff is helping him, is pushing him, driving him to find the peace, to be the eye of the hurricane. Okay, to be that stillness when all the other stuff is going up in shit. Okay, but they're doing this and they know that their spirituality is going to give them the freedom, the freedom of their soul. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's exactly where they want to move towards. Okay, their spirituality, they know, they know that this spirituality is going to bring them freedom. All right, let's get a little romantic, guys. Let's see what they're feeling romantically, because I know, I know that it's not just about service, okay? Like, I know the romance does come. It's not the initial thing, though, okay? Like, I just want to really reiterate that this is, um, I'm going to be putting some more videos out, because after my ayahuasca experience, I've realized how much more sacred this is, and how much more people really don't understand the sacredness of this connection. A lot of people don't get it, and I'm just telling you, like, <laughs> it's not romantic in any way. I, I, mean, I just got to keep saying that because it really isn't. It is such a call to serve, such a call to serve. Okay, um, let's take a look at, oh yeah, let's use these ones too. Let's look at Romance Angels. And I got these new ones with their Shaman Wisdom cards. Um, 
Let's do that at the end as an advice. So, yes, spirit. Let's do some romance. Let's see where they are romantically feeling this connection. Okay? And where their hearts are. You know, there is some romance that does come into it. Um, it's a different kind of romance. But, spirit, please bring down the container. What is going on with the romance angels? What is going on here in regards to... The Divine Masculines and messages to the Divine Feminine. What would they like to say to their Divine Feminine? Here's a little love letter, you guys. And then we're going to clarify, okay? What is going on here, Spirit, with Divine Masculine? Please bring down the blueprint. What is going on in regards to their messages? What would they like to tell their Divine Feminine about the romance and about the love, okay? And how they see their beautiful Divine Feminine and what they want with their Divine Feminine. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we're going to do it this way, Spirit says. We're going to take one overall, and we're going to take, yeah, retreat, okay? So go away. Time to, and, and, and this is what I'm feeling. You're either going to travel and see each other, and for some and for others, it's about pulling away. It's that stillness card. It's about finding peace within themselves. So if they, you haven't heard from them, it's because they're integrating a lot of these things, okay? Um, let's see what else. This is going to be a new love when you meet them again. Pay attention. They're paying attention to red flags. They're asking you to pay attention to red flags is what I'm getting. Okay. Oh, that's okay. They're asking you to pay attention to red flags because they're saying, my loves, I'm still operating in certain places of ego and I need you to still self love. And my ego is triggering you to look at the ego in yourself to activate the self love. I need you to activate the self love. So when I treat you like something, okay. And now I'm going to just say twin flames are never mean to each other. I'm just going to say that to you. You don't scream at each other and fight at each other. I don't care. I don't care about the twin flames out there that do that. I don't believe they're twin flames. It is such a peaceful connection. It's such a holy connection that you can't. You can't in your soul. If you're meant to unite in this life, you will not be screaming ass shit at yourself, at, at, at your twin. No way. It will be more from a hurtful place and asking and saying, why are you doing this? What's going on? But it is not from a mean place. And if you are taking abuse from anybody, is not your twin flame. You need to get the hell out of that situation. That is, it's not. It's just not. So the red flags here, when I'm talking about red flags, the divine masculine is saying, when I don't text you back, when I seem distant, when I'm triggering something in you, please don't take it as an external blame to me. Take it that my higher self is activating something in you because I need you to pull out of it. I can't do it. I need you to clear this pattern so in our one soul so that energy can now flow so that I can rise up to meet you. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Let your friends help you. Okay. These of my masculines are really looking at um, who their real friends are, but they're asking you to look at the relationships and what's causing toxicity in your life. And they want you to be able to ask for help. A lot of divine feminines are alpha females, okay? You have strong goddess energy. It's hard to ask for help and to be vulnerable in that space and say, hey, I need some help. I need I need help right now. And so they need that vulnerability. Your masculines need you to be in this vulnerable space. They can't rise in their own vulnerability if you are not vulnerable. Okay, so there's some more work there. Messages from divine masculine to divine feminine. Okay, and the outcome what they need is please wait for me. I'm worth waiting for. I promise you, I will do the work. I'm worth waiting for. And again, that's not worth waiting for. Like you're sitting there putting your life on hold, and you're like, oh, I'm waiting, and I have no life, and I don't know what to do. Not about that, you guys. Either it's about um, know that it, this is the mastery point for divine feminines. Okay. Uh, it, it's a mastery point that you need to learn is that I can still love somebody and let them go at the same time. That's true freedom. I can love you, but I realize that you're not in a place to be with me. This is the red flag. I can't take that personally. I can't get butt hurt about you not communicating with me. That's my own ego. Where am I not healed inside? Let me heal that now. Let me love that. Let me create that vibration, not just for me, but for you and for our union and for service to God. How can I do that? now they want you to bring in a new love okay they want you to bring in this new vibration of love and so 
surrendering. There's more surrendering. These divine masculines are asking divine feminine, surrender more, surrender more. I need that vulnerability. If you go back to the beginning of the reading, there was those cards for Mumi that said surrendering, being vulnerable. Okay. I need you to be that safe place for me to fall and land because I can't come into the womb of the feminine. I can't come into that energy until it's ready for me because there's so much about the physical world. Okay. They're the lower chakras of the body of the one body. And so they're saying when they're saying, wait, Wait. I am worth waiting for. Please live your life. Date. Do what you need to do, but hold that love for me. That doesn't mean that you can't love somebody else. Love is multifaceted. You need to start learning how to balance that and start living your life fully, okay? That doesn't mean that that that's attachment guys if you feel that you can't be with anybody else but your twin that is a form of attachment because you're feeling that this is the only person that will feed anything inside of you when you are the only person that can feed anything inside of you okay that's where that comes from so let's clarify wow really good messages that are coming out today really highly spiritual messages Really, watch this again, you guys, okay? Um, a lot of truths coming, divine truth coming through, spirit. Let's take a look here. What is going on? Can you clarify these cards, please? Yeah. Thank you, spirit. Please bring down the container. Uh, all right, let's see. So, retreat, okay? Yeah, death. <laughs> I need to pull back because I'm going through major transformation, my divine feminine. That's exactly what's happening. So I've pulled back. I'm going away because I'm looking at change and I'm looking at the truth of the situation. I'm being very honest with myself. Okay. We've got new love that's coming in. They're in a hangman position. Pay attention to red flags, divine feminine in your earth plane. Make sure that you are reaping and harvesting fruit and you aren't sitting there doing nothing. Okay. They want you to take action on that. Let your friends help you. Okay. Surrendering to help, allowing that energy to come in so that you can get wishes fulfillment. They're really asking the feminines to continue doing what they're doing and holding that space and creating that vibration because divine feminines, you're holding, you're holding the blueprint for the mission. Okay. Divine feminines hold and channel the blueprint for the, for the mission. We need to activate it first. It does not get activated without any, without the divine feminine. And so that's the wishes fulfillment. When you become vulnerable and ask for help and say, I need help from my friends, you're igniting this nine of cups energy. Okay. King of pentacles. Look at this. You guys are a pair. I'm worth waiting for you. I'm your counterpart. King of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. Okay. Let's clarify here. So new love. They're in a hangman situation. Okay. Um, they can't offer this new love quite yet to you, but it will be a brand new love. This is the thing. If you looked at my last video, guys, that I just put out, it talks a lot about um, where twin flames get stuck, okay? You cannot hang on to when you first connected with your twin. They've changed entirely, and I can attest that in the nine months that I knew first met my twin, he's entirely a different person, entirely different. He's more himself um, of who his soul is meant to be. Um, so here... Um, when they come forward, they're in a hangman position because they're still gaining enlightenment and looking at different perspectives in how to bring in this new energy of love, okay? And so they want you to be open to a new vibration of love, okay? I'm not taking reverses. They want to come forward quickly in accelerated motion and communicate their feelings to you. But they're hung about this right now because they want to do it properly. They want to come proper to you. Look at this divine masculine energy right there, okay? They want to mature from a king to an emperor before they come to you. They want to do it right because they know, they have shame and guilt about how it was in the past. They really do. Okay, they want you to pay attention to the red flags, divine feminine. Okay, they want you to look around how things are physically manifesting. We have the queen of pentacles. This is physical uh, queen walking around, nurturing, loving, being in the earth plane. They want you to look at how the red flags are manifesting in your life and action them. Start feeling sorry. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Okay, that's the old way of being. You can't get into an empress divine feminine mode if you're looking at your pain and saying, oh, here we go again. It's more of a warrior spirit. Like, okay, shit, the shit's coming up again. I'm feeling like shit. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's get, let's get deep. Let's get deep. Let's look at it. Let's get deep. Let's get deep. Let's clear it. Let's clear it. 
That's what they want from you, okay? They need you to do that. They're saying that these the darkness is coming up for you to clear so that it can pull them up. And, and the thing is, Divine Feminine, that when you come into union and mission is getting started, you will be able to rest more because they have now become in this new power and they will be able to hold that container with you. But right now, it's unbalanced and one has to do the legwork and mostly it is the Divine Feminine, okay? So... Let's take a look. Clarify Divine Feminine here. Yeah, you're planting the seeds, okay? They want to network with you, but they can't do that. Look at this. Divine Feminine Energy. The Emperor and Empress out here. They need you to move forward in planting these seeds. They need you to keep doing this healing work. They want you to be honest with how you're communicating in your earth plane for this new love, okay? They can't, again, new love, new love, but they are hung. See how they're hung? They have the hangman. They can't come forward until the feminine does this, okay? The feminine does part of the, they're healing, but they need you to operate in this place to be vulnerable. Pay attention to the red flag. Don't take it personally. Start moving forward in your growth with that plant. Plant the seeds that need to be planted. Communicate effectively. Be honest with yourself, okay? Let your friends help you be vulnerable in so nine of cups can come to you okay they're saying look to my masculine is being logical about this okay they want you to own that energy to be logical. Sometimes divine feminines, yeah, because they're in pain, okay? They can't they can't be in this vulnerable place right now because they're in their mind. And they want you to take the logic and how to, you know, start rationalizing being vulnerable and asking for help. Stop. If you need money, ask friends and family for money. If uh, you don't, and this is another thing. I, I, this is the recent growth that I went through. I've always been a strong, independent woman. I've had to realize I have to let that ego go. That it's okay to surrender to be vulnerable. Okay? Being vulnerable is true strength, you guys. And Divine Masculine is really asking you guys to do that. Be vulnerable with your friends and your family. Please ask for help. Bring in this wishes fulfillment because I'm in pain in my head here. I need you to have a proper logic about this because I can't do it right now. Because they're going through upheaval in their life. Okay? Major upheaval in their life. Huge upheaval in their life. Okay? Yeah. So that you can bring down, look, Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Stable, mature, emotional balance that can't happen until Divine Feminine start asking for help, okay? We've got here, worth waiting for. They are worth the Divine Masculine, King of Pentacles. The stable man, the stable, beautiful, abundant man. They really want you to. They need you to because they are going to walk away and come and offer love. Okay, and right now all they can do is hang on to their strength and their courage to move forward. That's all they can do right now. That they're kind of tied because they're going through this change of truth, and that's why they've retreated. Okay, so those are messages for divine feminine from the divine masculine. How they're feeling for, about you? Let's get some angel answers, spirit. What other messages can you give us, please, for divine masculine? And then I think we'll wrap this up soon. I'm gonna do the. Um, I'm gonna clear this up. We're gonna do um, advice from the shaman wisdom cards as well. And I'm gonna read those. So, Spirit, what other advice can we give to close, start closing off this reading, please? Oh, really powerful stuff coming through, you guys. Really powerful stuff, okay? There's a lot of information there, so let's take a look here. Yeah. Yeah. You are ready, Divine Feminines, okay? Clearly communicate clearly. That came up here, too. Communicate how you're clearly in the earth plane. Be very honest with how you're communicating, okay? Uh, when you, and that's the thing. See, this is about honesty, too. We've got Ace of Pentacles, uh, um, Ace of Swords here, too. We've got Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords, okay? We've got all three Aces here. And in the last spread, if you go back, they are they're working on being honest okay and very authentic if you, and they can't be honest and authentic until look at it until clear communication honest communication being honest here that's the message for divine feminine too so this is the mirroring effect you guys do you see it 
masculines can't do it until it's mirrored first you are creating the mirror for them to reflect back when they do it, it will if they were reflecting your shit right now to clear so that they can rise up once you come into union and you can mirror very closely this is what i've noticed when i was on ayahuasca when we were fully healed and in a mirror effect with each other it was such synchronicity it was such deep telepathy we didn't have to have verbal communication you guys this is possible in the earth plane like I haven't talked to him in two days, but I can feel and have telepathic. I ain't got to text him no more. That shit's done. I don't need to text him. But this is what I'm talking. That's true to inflame shit, okay? But you got to rise up to do it first, okay? Before that mirror can happen, before the balance can come, okay? And that's why we get triggered with all this red flag shit. We think it's like, oh, it's them, it's them. It's not. They're triggering you to pull it up, to clear it, to create the vibration so the like energy can attract like energy. Like we're dealing with vibration here, guys. So we've got to clear it. We've got to be able to bring it forward. And so that's why they need you to be honest in your communication is right. You're ready to do this work. You're a divine feminine. Of course, you're ready to do this work. Damn, girls or boys. <laughs> All right. Any other messages, spirit? Beautiful channel messages, spirit. Thank you so much. There will be romance, guys, okay? And there will be a peaceful resolution to this. But you've got to hold the faith and hold the container down. Whew. Wow. Wow. Let's get some messages, some healing messages from the shamans. Wisdom deck. I love it. Let's take a look. And again, guys, I'm going for, I, and again, I don't get anything for promoting Bluestone. They are just my tribe and my people, and I pay the same price as everybody else that goes. I go, like, like I just went. It's 1650 US, but it includes everything. I just came back. I'm going back again. I've gone um, four times, and this is going to be my fourth time in the last year. I don't care. It's worth it. It's so worth it. You can't put a price on that shit. But if you want to come do ayahuasca with me in May... I'm going again. I'll put that info down below again. Bluestone Ayahuasca. It's a seven-day retreat in Mexico, Cancun. All right, spirits. Shaman wisdom cards. You want to clear and heal like super fast? Highly suggest Aya. It has done wonders for me and my twin. Wonders in our connection. All right, spirit. What is going on? Shaman wisdom card. That, and also, too, if you're questioning your twin, you go to Ayahuasca. I'm telling you, she will, like, break shit apart that if it's, if it's not a healthy relationship she'll break that shit apart for you too i've seen people go there as a couple and come out separated um so it's healing though okay you're gonna get exactly what you need you gotta be willing and ready to listen to what i have told you all right that's enough talking about but let's see spirit what shaman wisdom cards advice messages from divine masculine to divine feminine or whatever the masculine is going through Anything that needs to come forward to close off this reading beautifully. Thank you, Spirit. We'll shuffle three times, and whatever comes out, we will take. Thank you. And then I will read from the book. And this will close off the reading. Okay, guys? We've been on this for an hour now. i got readings to do today. All right, Spirit. What messages? This is flipped. We don't want that. What messages, please? Any messages? Oh, my God. These are all flipped. Thank you. We've got... Corn planting moon, Gemini pots child. Okay, number three, we've got 48 willow, feminine south moon and water. The willow plant. Okay, we've got about children. I think it's that childlike innocence, truly, that's coming out again. What else, spirit? Why is this flipped? <laughs> What other messages, Spirit, please? Honestly, I'm totally, I totally believe that it's only our tri ancient tribes. I don't believe in New Age. I'm sorry. I know I do New Age stuff, but I don't believe in any other New Age healing modalities can heal other than plant medicine. I truly don't believe that. I've been through all of it. I don't believe in tapping, raking, none of that. I think it's very surface when you're, but when you're ready to do this kind of work, now you got to get deep, guys. That stuff is very surface. Self, masculine, and I'm not knocking it. It is what it is. It's there for a reason at a certain point in your in your journey. But when you get to this point, when you're ready to come into union with your twin and do service to the universe, like, it's deep shit, man. It's deep. It's deep. You can't do that. Other stuff doesn't resonate anymore. Um, amethyst and the bare moon. Okay, we've got enough here. 
We've got nine, numerology nine, nine at the end, so that means that things are ending. This is 11 in the middle. We've got 12 and three. 12, which is three. So, ha ha, that's funny. We have eight, nine, 10, 12, which is three. So numerology three, numerology three, um, numerology um, 11 in the middle, okay, which we're going to keep as 11, okay? We've got 54, so that's nine and nine. So we've got three, three, 11, nine, nine. That's friggin' awesome. Let's read that out. Okay, so number three. Final messages, guys. Final messages for whatever everyone needs to hear. This is the corn planting moon, Gemini. Pots and child, I am the corn planting moon. I am a place of beginnings. I am the germination of ideas. The corn maiden comes as the symbol of food and substance for the people. You hear that? This is food for the people. This is the tribe calling. Okay, these are ancient tribes calling you home. Okay, honor her. I am germination. Under my light, you were called to begin anew, to sharpen your communication skills. Do you hear that? Communicate, guys. Communication, communication. To get along better with all your relations, including siblings. Now, if you go look at my last video, this is just reiterating the reading that I did yesterday. I'm going to put a link to that. Um, you can't heal anything until you heal yourself and then you heal your family. Union will not happen. I'm sorry. Twins don't work that way. This is sacred. You don't heal yourself and your family, then the unity cannot happen. Okay. There's deep healing that happens. This is deep work. Okay. Um, okay. Ev energy increases during this time. Let your ideas germinate and grow and let yourself smile in the progress. So these are new beginnings. These are seeds that are happening. This is the transitional piece because divine masculines are really coming out, of, out, out and breaking open now. Okay, so germinate. Let's read the other one. 48. Willow. Willow is my favorite. Let's see what this says. Feminine south, moon and water. I am Willow. I stand for truth and justice. My flexibility allows me to adapt to any situation. If you are feeling a little sorry for yourself today, I am the powerful medicine you need. No more receptive of my qualities and be more bending. I am smoking mixture and incense that captures dreams and enhances journeys. I am the smooth flow of emotions. I am love and I am protection. Beautiful, beautiful, 65. This is self, masculine, feminine, all. Oh, this is the, this is beautiful. This is union, guys. So I feel like this is for feminine and I feel this is for masculine. Is this masculine? This is Sagittarius, bare moon, basket, adult. Oh, this is maturing. This is maturing from child into adult, okay? This is, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't even notice this. Child, adult, okay? First card I read was about the children, okay? Being a child, healing your family. The last card out was Beaver Moon, Sagittarius, Baskets, adult, okay? This is about pots, pots, baskets, how you hold wealth, okay? The maturing of what you're holding in your cup, of how you're overflowing, how you're holding love. This needs to heal. The child still needs to heal the family. Let's see. We'll see what the adult one means. But look, coming coming from the outside, coming into union, the next two cards, feminine, with a willow, okay, that I just read, okay? Here, amethyst, which is the masculine, which is the sixth chakra, okay? So this is now feminine and masculine energy coming into the middle, which is union, Full, last card in the deck, masculine and feminine balance. Let's read the masculine, and then we're going to read um, this one. I'll read this one last, okay? So let's read the amethyst first. So the willow, we got the messages there for the divine feminine, okay? I'll reiterate that, that it's for truth and justice, okay? Flexibility, allowing yourself to bend. It's a powerful medicine for being receptive. That's what I've talked about. Feminine energy is open, receptive, allowing all energy in and knowing how to work in it, being bendable, adaptable. I am love. I am protection. Let's read the Divine Masculine here, 54. Wow. 
Ah, oh, God, such beautiful synchronicities. Okay, we've got amethyst, masculine. I am amethyst. I am the healer stone. I energize stones, crystals, and people by attracting, attracting positive forces while repelling and removing negative energies. I am here to tell you to take charge of your own thoughts, follow your visions, be who you are, walk your talk. I am the stone of the higher self, new spiritual awakenings, and the unlimited power of knowledge through inner journey and intuitive perceptions. You need to see beyond and look for the best, not the most practical. I am grounding and stabilizing that soothes emotions. I am purification. Woo! And that masculine is definitely rising up to that, okay? Being the healer that they know that they are to be. To know to talk and walk your walk and talk your talk. That's that honesty we talked about. This was clear communication in the children here. Communicating clearly, right? Rising up and communicating clearly so that you can mature. So both of you are maturing here. Okay, these outer ones are the maturing aspect, okay? So this masculine is about grounding, stabilizing, soothing emotions, okay? Let's look at what you're maturing to, because both of you are now coming from this child. This is three, this is nine, okay? Remember, this is three, this is nine. So this is like very, I mean, and if you look at nines and threes, it's all three, 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 guys. Christ consciousness right there. Okay, nine. Holy stuff, man. I'm telling you, this stuff is holy. If you start noticing my, my last few readings, um, they're getting holier and like more sacred since I've come back from ayahuasca. And it, it needs to because um, there's so many misconceptions that I need to break about Twin Flames. Truly. I, I, it's part of my mission. It truly is. Um, okay, nine. This is beaver. Beaver, moon, Sagittarius, and baskets. Okay? Adult. This is the adult card, guys. I am Beaver Moon. This is the moon of relationships with the same gender. Interesting, okay? Friendships can become close without being competitive or jealous. As you undertake your journey, I provide the stamina for long-distance travel. Unlimited possibilities will lead to growth in new areas of interest, such as education, philosophy, and spirituality. My nurturing will protect you from outside influences to allow you to achieve your full potential. I am the teacher. So this is about relationships with the same gender. So this is what I'm getting masculines don't bond properly with masculines and feminines do not bond properly with feminines and i'm gonna just gonna say this always bothered me this is what's coming up when i first met my twin i'm just gonna say there was another girl there that kept cutting in between us because she felt because she was the pretty one that's how that worked she was very negative to me behind closed doors but had to come in between the connection between me and my twin. I get it. I get it. Because when people are highly attractive, sometimes they identify with themselves that that's what attractive is and could not understand the connection between me and my twin because he looks like a friggin' model and I'm a short, pudgy woman, right? Not, I'm not putting myself down. I am actually very beautiful. But besides that, um, this whole thing about the same sex, we fight amongst ourselves. I can see the divinity in another beautiful woman. Looks don't bother me at all. I can I, I can look at a woman and say, you are fucking gorgeous. You are beautiful. You know, because it's about energy for me. It's not about, you can be a beautiful on the outside, but if you got, got shit going on on the inside, I see through that. And it's like, mm, yeah, no. But I will honor, if I see beauty on the inside, I will honor that, but you are a queen. I will fix your crown for you. I will help you. And so this is what I don't understand, that most women out there are in freaking competition with each other for the men. What is that all about? And then the men can't bond emotionally because they need to be these macho men. So this is the adult. This is the growing up from this child. Heal the family shit. Heal with your siblings. Heal with your family. Mature. And then heal with the same sex. Okay? Even if you're twin, if you are a same sex couple, that doesn't matter. But there's something about the same sex here and the relationships that need to heal. And so when you stand in a pure divine masculine energy, you are healing the same sex. When you stand in a pure divine fe female energy, feminine energy, you are healing the same sex. I remember like this stood up really much. I remember going out and I was talking to this guy at a bar. I was with a, I was with a coworker from work. We, I just started the job or it was a course or something. And we had just met and she was really interested in this guy. And she couldn't understand why he was like, just talking me up. And we were having a good time. We were talking. She's like, can we go to the bathroom? I need to talk to him. I'm like, sure. And so we get to the bathroom and she ripped me a new asshole. She's like, get off my turf. And I'm like, what? She's like, step off my grass, bitch. And I'm like, seriously, what? Like that energy that females have against each other. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. 
I can't stand it. And I have always had very modelly attractive women downgrade me in my sexiness because I am sexy, you guys, and I own that shit. That's why my twin is so with the sensuality because a lot of people that are attracted to looks, just looks, can't own that sensuality. That's why I need to help you guys and teach you guys how to own that energy because that's what's sexy, okay? Not the physical stuff. So this whole thing with them and then the masculine energy, they men can't be emotionally connected. It's so sad. It's like they're seen as like they're gay or something because they show emotion and there's nothing wrong with being gay. Not at all. But I'm saying that there's something in the same sex that needs to heal for this maturity to come about. All right. Last message to close this off, you guys, is the union card. I can't. I mean, this is beautiful. Beautiful. And I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I know I have a loud mouth and I like sound like I'm yelling, but I don't mean it that way. Okay. I'm like, I really love you guys. I just get so passionate. I get so passionate that I'm just like, oh my God, this is it. And so that's just how I am. Okay. Don't take me too seriously, but I am very passionate about what I do. I have to take my calling very seriously. And um, I know where I'm going with my twin. And I know that um, eventually he'll be on here doing this with me. So, I mean, you just go around and really look, I, I want you guys to just also go around too and just acknowledge who actually talks openly. Okay. Because vulnerability is a very key thing in this journey. You need to know about who your healers and the people that you're working with are and where they are in their journey. Um, you do, you just do. Okay. Um, <laughs> you just do. That's all. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. 65 self masculine feminine all i am the seventh direction it is from me that all directions radiate i am the center i must honor myself before i can honor anything or anyone else i am the beginning of the path of inner power that travels full circle returns and ends within it is around me that the middle world occurs the here and now the world in which time works i am in the world that i am not of the world I, when i attain balance then and only then will i attain harmony always honor the seventh direction i am the trunk of the sacred tree i am the here i am the now i am the balance of feminine and masculine energy for i am the sacred space within i am shaman and I will leave you with that, my natural, beautiful healers and twin flames and soulmate connections. Aho, you guys. If you like that, like, share, subscribe. If you would like some coaching sessions or any of my other services and readings, um, take a look down below. You can take a look at what my clients are saying just by going to my site, soulunion.as.me. And I'll see you guys soon. Much like, much life, much life, much love, much love. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You guys love to hear your comments about that. And um, namaste. Love you guys. Bye.